So today, we are solving algebra equations. Now the key to solving an algebra equation is to undo the problem to figure out what x is. All right. So what we're going to do is undo each piece of this in the exact opposite order of the order of operations. And what you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do the other side to keep it balanced. All right. So let's look at this first problem. We've got x. And the first thing they did to x was they multiplied it by 9. And the next thing they did was subtract 15, and we ended up with 48. All right. So since the last thing they did to x was subtract 15, that's the first thing we're going to undo. All right. So the opposite of subtracting 15 is adding 15. So we're going to undo it by adding 15. But what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. All right. So when we do that, the subtracting and adding 15 undo each other, and all that's left on the left side is 9 times x. The equal sign will just drop straight down. And on the other side, 48 plus 15 gets me 63, and that's what's on the right side. Now, we've got x, and it said we multiplied x by 9. So to undo multiplying by 9, we're going to divide by 9. But what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. All right, so let's see what happens. Multiplying and dividing by 9 undo each other, and all that's left over here is x. The equal sign drops down. And then 63 divided by 9 is 7. And notice, what we're left with is a statement that says x equals 7. So guess what? x must be 7. All right? And if you're not sure or you want to check, there's an easy way to check it. I could do it quickly on my calculator. All we have to do is put 7 in for x and see if this stuff truly does equal 48. Let's see. Does 9 times 7 minus 15, does that equal 48? Yes, it does. So we know our answer is correct. All right. Let's do another one here. We've got this time x divided by 6 plus 29 equals 36. All right. So again, we're going to undo it in the opposite order that we that was done to x. And the last thing they did to x was add to 29. So we're going to subtract 29 to undo it. But what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. All right. So adding and subtracting 29 undo each other. All that's left over here is x divided by 6. And by the way, don't get confused by this. Don't think, oh, this is a fraction. This is confusing. This literally means x divided by 6. That's all it means. All right, that equal sign drops down. And then 36 take away 29 is 7. All right, now we've got x divided by 6. How do you undo dividing by 6? We're going to multiply by 6. And I like to use the parentheses when I multiply. You can use the time symbol if you want to. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other, though. All right? So multiplying and dividing by 6 undo each other. And all that's left over here is x. On the other side, well, the equals drops down. But the other side, 7 times 6 is 42. And look what we're left with, the statement that x equals 42, which tells you that x must be 42. All right? And again, we can check our answer by putting in the calculator. So let's try it. Does 42? divided by 6 plus that 29, does that equal 36? Yes, it does. So we're good. All right. Let's do a couple harder ones, shall we? So this one's a little confusing here. All right. It says x plus 4. So they added 4 to x first, then divided it by 2, and it equaled 11. All right, so notice in this case, the last thing they did was divide by 2. So that's the first thing we need to undo. How do we undo dividing by 2? Multiplying by 2. It's a little messy, but that's parentheses 2. What I do to one side of the equal sign, though, I have to do to the other side. Okay, so multiplying and dividing by 2 undo each other, and all that's left over here is x plus 4. The equal sign drops down. And on the other side, 11 times 2 is 22. So that's what's left on the other side. Now notice, we're not done yet because look, we've got x plus 4 equals 22. 
So we need to undo that plus four. To undo adding four, we're going to subtract four. But what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side. So let's do that. So adding and subtracting four and do each other. But the x drops down, the equal sign drops down, and 22, take away four, leaves me with 18. And guess what? I'm left with the statement that x equals 18. So that must be the answer, x equals 18. All right? And again, if you wanted to check it, we could easily check it. And by the way, you don't have to use a calculator. You could probably do this in your head, right? But I'll just use the calculator just to show you. We've got x plus 4, so 18 plus 4. I'm going to put in parentheses because I have to do the plus 4 first and then divide that by 2. And this should equal 11. Does it? Yes, it does. So we know our answer is good. All right. Last one. I saved the hardest one for today for last. Here we go. We've got x. We multiplied it by 4. Then we subtracted 5. And then we took that answer and divided it by 3. And we equaled negative 11. So there's three things being done here. So we're going to then do all three things. And remember, the last thing we did to x was divide it by 3. So that's the first thing we need to undo. So to undo dividing by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So let's do that. All right, multiplying and dividing by 3 undo each other. So the 4x minus 5 drops down. The equal sign drops down. And on the other side, I've got negative 11 times 3, which is negative 33. All right, now what do we do? Well, we have x. They multiplied by 4, and then they subtracted 5. So subtracting 5 was the last thing they did. So that's the next thing I'm going to undo. We undo subtracting 5 by adding 5. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So let's do that. All right, so subtracting and adding 5 undo each other. But the 4x drops down. The equals drops down. Negative 33 plus a positive 5. Be careful here. This is negative 28. All right, so last step. We've got x times 4. We need to undo multiplying by 4, so we're going to divide by 4. But what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side. So when we do that, the 4s undo each other, and all that's left here is x. The equal sign drops down, and negative 28 divided by 4 is negative 7. And notice, we've got the statement x equals negative 7, so we're done. x must be negative 7. And just like I did before, we can check our answer, although this one's a little more complicated to put in the calculator, so we're going to have to be careful here. All right, so if I put negative 7 in here, this should equal negative 11. So let's see what happens. Parentheses, I'm going to do the top in parentheses, 4 times negative 7 minus 5, so that's the top, and all that in parentheses divided by 3. So hopefully, if we're correct, this should equal negative 11. Does it? Yes, it does. All right, so we know we're correct. Negative 7 must be the answer. All right, so the key to doing this really is two things. One, making sure you're undoing the problem in the exact opposite order of the order of operations. And then what you do to one side, you do to the other. And notice, by showing your work, it's really easy to keep track of what you're doing. And also, it's also really easy to check your answer on a calculator or using mental math. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.